In this demonstration of Barmley's front office for net backup, uh, I'm going to show you how we can perform uh, a file restore. You can see we're logged into uh, the front office self-service portal as a particular client called Browns. Uh, and what we can do is we can go down the option of backup and restore in order to invoke uh, the, uh, the, the service uh, to go and restore that file. Before we do that, let's just go out to uh, another system. Uh, we're going to go out to uh, one of the machines that is in the uh, Browns domain. Uh, I'm logged in uh, via a, a console view. Uh, and I'm just going to do, first of all, a run on the uh, current directory that we're in. Uh, when I do that, you can see that we've got a uh, file there called jlucache.xml. Uh, so let's go and uh, remove that file. Okay, so I just type the remove command, it'll come up and uh, just ask for confirmation of that. And uh, then just to check that uh, that's been deleted from the directory, we'll do another run on the directory and you can see that is now uh, missing from that directory because we've deleted it. Okay, so let's go back into our self-service portal now. Let's go into uh, backup and restore. And uh, this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and select from the uh, service to restore a file or a folder. Okay, so when I'm in here, all I need to do is to come in and select the options uh, that I need to uh, identify the particular file that we're after. So first of all, I'm gonna select my location. We've got a default on the uh, backup date. Uh, I then need to go and select uh, the VM that we want to restore this file from. Uh, and uh, what we're seeing now is just a view on the uh, Browns infrastructure. So we're using a Barmy adapter to go out and pull in uh, all the machines that, uh, that are available. Uh, what I can do is just sort of click down here. We can see uh, what machines are under uh, which section. And the machine I'm after is actually under here. Uh, so we just wait for that and then I can select it. So there's the machine that I know my files are on. So if I select that, you can see we've brought that, those, uh, that machine into the request as well. Okay, so now all I need to do is to uh, put, the, uh, put some search criteria in. You can see I've done this before. So it's already defaulted to that, and we can pull that search in. Uh, if, and then all I need to do is go and pick on this spyglass. That will now go out. It'll take all of the information that we've pulled together in the form. And what it'll do is it'll run uh, via our adapter a command into uh, the backup and actually pull all the instances of that particular file uh, that we have uh, within our backups. Okay, so it's gonna give me a list here of uh, uh, the same file, but a number of different uh, dates. Uh, we've got information on the, uh, the actual backup date, uh, the actual file itself uh, and the size of it. So we could easily identify if that had changed at all. Uh, so let's go and pick from uh, the most uh, current backup. Uh, and when we select that, what we do is we put all of that information again into our form. We've now got all the information that we need in order to send this off uh, via our Biomni adapter, internet backup uh, to invoke the command to go and restore that file. So when I click on uh, submit, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out now to uh, our fulfillment tab and we're gonna see all of these tasks uh, occurring. And if I just uh, page down there, you can see that we've got this uh, start file restore. So that's gonna initiate uh, the uh, command internet backup. It's gonna take all of that information we filled in the form, uh, pass that and uh, create the uh, command to restore that file. Then we're gonna do uh, a check on the status. We're gonna check and see that it's been restored. And then what we'll do is we'll send out an email uh, if it's been successful or a different one if it's failed. And then we'll complete the request. All of this is happening in uh, real time. So if I click on refresh, we can see how far uh, this uh, process has got. So you can see now we've done what we consider to be the file restore task. We're now polling it, we're just checking the status. Uh, and as I refresh that, that will update as the, as the file goes through. Uh, now what we can do now is just go out and check to see uh, whether that file has actually been restored. So if I go back into my console view now, 
uh, and if I run the uh, command to uh, list the directory uh, then indeed we can see that that file has now been restored within the directory uh, and so that, that request is now being completed. That's uh, the end of uh, this particular demonstration. Uh, there's other demonstrations of uh, other uh, facilities and other services that we have uh, within the front office for net backup and if you've got any other questions or want to seek some information please go to our website at www.biomni.com thank you